We have uh, five four modeling nonlinear functions with regressions. Uh, we are, have the logistic parent function. Let's see how many of these can we can done get done in twenty minutes. Let's copy this note onto here. Add the note. Here. And then copy. Control C. Go here. Control V. So logistic is the best function found because it, it levels off over time, indicating that the elephant causes ceases to grow once it uh, matures. So what we have here is the elephant's age in years. And from negative 10 to say uh, 70, 60 uh, by tens. And then the elephant's height in feet from uh, negative 10 or uh, yeah, from negative 10 to say 20. And we can see that we can add a table to this. And then move this table down here. You see the table it is 0, 2, I said 2, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20 with heights of 2, 2.8, 4, 7.5, 10, 10.4, 10, 10, 10 point, 10.45 and in order to do the logistic regression we have to do y1 because that's our data and then press on the keyboard go to the abc key go over to the approximate tilde key and type 1 plus i mean the limit um do that the limit which we i I know, so I'm just going to put L divided by 1 plus A times E to the power of B to the X. Back here, that's X1. And we can plot the residuals. There they are. And we see that the limit is 10.76, as noted here. And I can ask the key questions, which are, when, what is the y-intercept? What does this mean here? What is the function of zero? But before I can ask that, I have to define the function. And I can again go L divided by 1 plus A times E to the power of X. The difference here is that this is equal to, oh, Forgot one thing. Got my B. There you go. And that's a predictive function model. So I can ask, what is f of zero? Apparently 1.66. I can answer that question that zero 1.66 represents the height of the elephant at birth to be 1.6 feet, according to the model. Model. The point. Okay. Further. Further, um, uh, 
further, <clears throat> f at 43, I think it was, equals L, which was uh, 10.7601. Let's see. I can verify that by typing F at 43. And I can try 44, 42, but uh, 43 seems to do the trick. Just add another note better. Which means that at the age of 43 years, an elephant reaches its maximum height of. 10.7 feet. Okay, so those are two questions that can be asked. Here is this. Control minus to get more of this in. Okay, I want to have to control minus again. So we're there. Seems good. Let's take a screenshot of that. First, let's title it. Logistic model for elephant height versus age. Safe. And screen and likewise over here you can do it on Desmos on the on the calculator uh, choose a spreadsheet you can put L elephant age tears elephant um, height Right, feet. Okay. And again, the data zero, two, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty, sixteen. Oops. Sixteen and twenty. Going over and clicking here, going up, click here, click down, and 2, 2.8, 2, 2.8, 4, 7.5, 10, 10.4, 10. Point four four five and um, we can run the regression here menu the statistics and start calculation and we want to run a logistic regression with d equal to zero because the age at uh, at age zero the elephant is two feet in height. You notice that very the model over here is 1.66 flight. So here, go right, tab right, choose the years, tab down, tab right, choose the height. That's 
good. Tab, 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 until you get to the bottom, and then OK. There's a regression. We can see that A is 5.45 as, as opposed to um, the A of similar there. And then you have a B of 0.31. That's uh, like a growth rate similar to here. And over here we have a limit of height 10.706 as before over here. Okay. So uh, let's look at adding a graph before. Do menu thirty six above the nine is the variable key, and we want the age. Press the tab, another variable. We want the height in feet. Press enter. There it is. Press menu and then window. Zoom to fit the data. A zoom fit. There's the data. Uh, we can then uh, also press tab, uh, and it's still on scatterplot, so 30, 31 to see a function. F2, move up CF1, press enter, and it grabs it, and grab it, and drag it with uh, clicking here, and then grabbing it, and moving it, whatever you want. Okay. So you can see it. And now you can ask the similar questions. You can do menu, trace, graph, what happens at zero. And you have, well, I have to go down and press zero again. Press, so at zero, it's 1.66 feet. And that's the model when the actual data is two right, in blue. Go back to the model and ask, well, I, what was it? We said 43. So I'm going to leave you press 43. And we see that at 43, they have this. 10.760, just like in ours. To get uh, these number of decimal places, that's in menu. Settings takes four, OK? If that's what you want, OK? Okay, now if you want to set the window like in the other, you have to go to the window, 41, menu 41, and we can type what we have over here, which was negative, negative let's see if it's, if we type to our liking, negative 10 to 60, or 50, and the y from negative 10 to 20. Let's see, negative 10, oops, Ten. tab to 20, so there. Control, click, grab the function. There. So that has some. that we can look at. All right, and uh, this is a good screenshot to take as well. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a screen of this. And that's the elephant.